black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all, let me show you what my uh, trying to get unfat meals look like nowadays. This is a little something I conceptualized recently because I always have too many cucumbers because I buy too many cucumbers at the store. I always think I can eat them and then I can never eat them and they go jiggly. So before they go jiggly, we try to find out new dishes that we can make, but I need a vinaigrette. So I got to make a homemade vinaigrette because I'm all out of my homemade vinaigrette. So here we are making a homemade vinaigrette. So we got oil. Probably equal parts white wine vinegar, half and half. We'll taste later on as she goes, but uh, for now we start like that. I got some shaky Parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese and dressing? Just ask Newman's own. They do it, so why can't I? Okay, a little bit of that. A little Worcestershire sauce. Lots of cracked pepper. We got some onion powder. Couple teaspoons. We got some basil leaves going in. We also have salt. Couple teaspoon. And then we got maybe a squirt of lemon. And then we have a squirt of ballpark mayonnaise and then we er, mayonnaise mustard don't quote me on the mayonnaise it's mustard anyways that and then i got this garlic here pre-done garlic a nice dollop of that and then we whip a little touch of honey slight tweak and now she's ready to go all right, so cucumber carpaccio. Carpaccio normally made with thin meat, but today we're doing a vegetarian style one. So we got big boy cucumber that's been sitting in the fridge. Still got some nice crunch to it. Let's see if we have the right thickness. Mm, too thick. Bring it down a bit. Bring it back. Mm, still a little too thick. Got to adjust. Mm. <laughs> so good. Come on, man. I don't want it paper thin, but I don't want it too thick either. There we go. That right there is what we're looking for. All right, cucumber carpaccio snacks. Will we get the thickness right? But anyways, go to town on the mandolin. Get your cuke slices. You use the food guard if you want, but I am a ninja who's used this many a time in my life. But as you get to the nub, do go slower. Do be careful, my friend. Okay, so boom, we got our cucumber, and then we just have to bring in our plate to plate on, a little white, nice beautiful white plate, and then you just start laying out your cucumber carpaccio plate in beautiful uniform ways here, kind of like a pepperoni on the za, but it's not going to taste near like a pepperoni on the za. <laughs> But this is delicious, I promise you. Now, I've made a rendition of this before. I'm adding a tweak on it today, but it is a nice, uh, beautiful looking plate, very fresh. And it's a nice, I'd say this is a good just snack. Like you could have this midday for not too, not too many cows and all the things, watching the waistline, because we're trying to get unfat here from our years of Pizza Hut and all these things. And we can go back to some Pizza Hut once we're we're less fat, but get your layers on. Use all your cukes. So that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to use up the cukes. All right, now that that's laid, we're gonna come in with our vinaigrette that we just made, right? And uh, not too heavy. 
but enough. We definitely want to taste this vinaigrette, right? And then we can do a little, just kind of spread it around. Should have a spoon here with me. But that should be fine. And then we're gonna leave that off to the side for just a moment and we're gonna bring out the mandolin once again. And so I've got these pickled, pickled red onions here and I really hope they're gonna, they're gonna slice for me maybe. It's a little too thin, but here we go. Just need a few good rings. All right. All right, so a few good rings. We're gonna pull these guys apart. These are both tasty and decorative, but also tasty, very tasty. I love pickled onions. So we pull these guys apart over in the corner here. And just let them live free and easy over here. Okay, boom, done. Okay, so we bring this back. Grater, hand grater, good Parmesan cheese, nice, hard, firm, real, delicious Parmesan cheese and generously or liberally, they might say, apply your Parmesan cheese over your cucumber carpaccio. Now, the one thing about grating parm like this is it does get everywhere. So you're in for a little bit of a cheese dandruff cleanup, but it is what it is. Okay, so we do that and then we go like this pickled onions scattered around beautifully, but we don't want to really overcrowd per se. But we definitely want those flavors in there. All right, and then I'm gonna come in with crispy onions. Now, I, if I had some chicken skin, I would probably oil up some chicken skin and crisp it off in the air fryer and use that. But these can do the same thing. I just don't have chicken skin right now, but I wanted to try it with some chicken skin. So I might do that later on in my life. But just some crispy onions for some texture, some crunch. And then I have these Calabrian chilies for a tiny little bit of heat. So we have the heat element coming in. Put a few around. And then we'll have the final drizzle, the piece there is a stance from way up high. Just try to get a very light drizzle of honey. And that's it. A little spicy, hot, crunchy, vinaigrette, parmigiani, salty, cucumber, carpaccio. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge, clean up a bit, and then I'll eat ya, er, eat ya. <laughs> yeah. I'll eat you with it. <laughs> I'll eat it with ya, with ya. All right, so here we are. <laughs> Not what we're used to around here, but new year, new me, you know what I mean? Even though it's October, heading into the, to the Hallow's Eve, but this is what I'm on right now. I gotta get the jawline back. I gotta get the traps back. I gotta have less titties. Nobody likes a guy with boobs, right? Is that, you know, unless you're funny, <laughs> that'll take you a long way. But anyways, yeah, I made this the other day. It's just what I do when I have too much cucumbers. It's very delicious. Um, so let's get into it. I just want to hit a bite. It's a very beautiful plate. All right, let's take a bite. For some reason, this makes me want to eat with chopsticks for, for, for whatever reason. Like honestly, <clears throat> nice healthy dishes can just taste amazing too. It's unbelievable. Oh, it's so good. You have to try this. Sweet, spicy with the honey and the peppers. Oh my God, the crispy onions, freshness of the cucumbers, you got the vinegary bite. Oh, 
of the vinaigrette and the pickled shallots. Everything's going on. Honestly, it's an amazing dish. A quick eat too. <laughs> but like I said, this would be a perfect light lunch, midday snack. I'm having it for a this will be like my light lunch, go for my workout, and then I'll have like my chicken and veggies tonight. It's amazing. I would say like this would be good for a share plate, family style at a restaurant. Everybody scrape off like a Let's say you're at a table of four. Everybody take a quarter of it. Mm. It's unbelievable. I would say uh, in my head, wanting to do the chicken, the crispy chicken skins would probably elevate it a little bit higher. But man, oh man, is it fresh. Is it good? The highest calorie thing being the dressing, which is like, what did I use? Like a tablespoon, two tablespoons. Crispy onions are like 30 calories. And then the Parmesan cheese isn't even that high calorie either. Whole plate of food, food probably 300 calories. Flavor explosion in your mouth. Sweet heat, acid, salt, freshness. Match hits every pocket. The first time I made it, I did eat it with chopsticks, but somehow one of my chopsticks has gone missing and I have no idea how that happened. I've been searching around for it being like, I hand wash all my own dishes and I'm one person. So I don't know like where the chopstick thief that resides in somewhere in my lair is, but they exist apparently. I can't even express to you how good this is. If you have the components, make it. it. Takes like five minutes. It's so fast. That was so good. It's literally lick the plate worthy of like a a nice Sharesies <coughs> starter dish. or side to your main meal or family shareable. So delicious. All right, I'm going for a walk now. Keep chiseling off my jiggly body and uh, think about something else I can make for you that's fairly interesting and intriguing that's not the dirty stuff. All right. All right. So I guess in this one, I can say to the next one, eat good, live well. Stay true.